The theory of evolution is not a scientific argument, but a dogmatic philosophy and materialistic world leave hiding behind the mask of science. But how do we understand that? Let's examine together what evolutionists use the deceptive propaganda carried out in the name of evolution. For example, the Cambrian Age. It is a geological period, has an estimated age of 500-530 million years. And 65,000 fossils have been found by Charles W. Walcott. He is a paleontologist and secretary of the Smithsonian. He began research in the fossil bearing Burgess Shale region in the Rocky Mountains, Canada. And he saw the complexity of the fossils he discovered. These living beings have complex body systems. For example, the eye of the trilobite. Here it is. It is a 410 to 360 million years old trilobite fossil. The eye of the trilobite is made up of hundreds of honeycomb-like cells, each having a double lens system. It is a wonder of design. This is the first eye that appeared on the Earth, and it definitely refused the Darwinist claim that life evolved from the very primitive towards the complex. Remembering that, according to the theory of evolution, fossils with relatively simple structures were to be expected in rocks of such great age. But in terms of complexity, the fossils he discovered were no different from our present-day creatures, such as crabs, starfish, and worms. For Darwinists, the alarming aspect of this was that no fossil spe specimen that might be proposed as the ancestor of these creatures was to be found either in Burgess Shale or in older rocks. Faced with these dilemmas, Walcott was all too aware that the fossils he had obtained would constitute a major stumbling block for the theory of evolution. Instead of announcing them, he sent them to the Smithsonian, then he locked away the fossils in drawers and forgot them for 70 years. Burgess Shale fossils were brought to light only in 1985, when the museum arco archives were re-examined. The important part of this happening was Walcott concealed the fossils he had obtained rather than making them available up to his fellow scientists. But why did he need to keep away the fossil that he found? What things that behind from that? It is obvious that some of evolutionists, as Walcott is one of them, make the basic scenarios of the human evolution are imposed on the public. Their work is just supporting the ideology which denies the existence of God, religion and the spiritual life and which regards matter as the only absolute and supports the selfish world view. The selfish, self-interested, combative and ruthless moral view, which is still widespread in the world, is the product of a materialist Darwinist viewpoint. You will encounter it in your daily life, read its propaganda in newspapers and see its influence on television. This religion infiltrates your life at every moment. 
indeed, it's part of your life. Perhaps some of you, knowingly or otherwise, have come under the direct influence of this religion. It is absolutely the religion of Darwinism. And I'm underlying that it has no scientific facts. Evolution theory commits the many errors and frauds, such as the Cameron Age, is just one of them. The only true fact, demonstrated time, and again by scientific advances, is the reality of creation. If you look, even with the naked eye, at the living things around you, you will find the proof of an extraordinary intelligence, strategy, and design. Whether you examine a microscopic sea creature, a single atom, a cell, or any living organism, you find an astounding composition. This great intelligence, flawless, planning, and perfect design in every part of nature come from Allah, to whom all power and ability belong.